in our series about women throughout the Coachella Valley for Women's History Month. Really excited to introduce you to this next lady here. Um, we met at Coachella Valley Boss Babes networking event. Shout out to them. They do a wonderful job of getting all kinds of women from all different um, careers and career paths together. And I was fortunate enough to meet America Ochoa. She is the owner of America's Legal Document Services here in Palm Desert. And we are excited to bring her to you. So America, tell us a little bit about the services you provide. So I'm a certified paralegal okay. and um, I'm registered with the county as a legal document assistant. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I also started doing fingerprinting about two years ago and I'm a notary public. Okay. So it's uh, legal document preparation services is the main focus, but mm -hmm. I also do uh, fingerprinting. Okay. And so what kind of legal documents are you dealing with? So I stick or focus with family law. A lot of it's divorces. Oh, wow. Um, and most of the time it's um, non contested or, you know, when they're in agreement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the first time ever, it's getting a divorce. In agreement. Or um, I also do some paternity cases. Oh, wow. This is all for self represented litigants because I'm not an attorney. Okay, so. self represented litigants. Say that in <laughs> yeah. layman speak. What does that mean? So if you're just a party in a family law case okay. and you don't have an attorney legal representation, you represent yourself. Um, that's how I'm able to assist. So because okay. I, I help them, we do it together. It's like a self help service. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's that and estate planning as well. Okay. So like trusts and wills, mm -hmm. power of attorneys. Correct. All of those. Awesome. And we know those are super important. Yeah. Yeah. Very very important. You know I feel that way. <laughs> yeah, with the real estate. Yes. 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 It's so important. And all right. And how long have you been um, doing this as your business? I started in 2019, like on the side, mm -hmm. and that's when I was pregnant with my second daughter, mm -hmm. um, but went full time in 2021. Okay, and what prompted you to do that? Uh, uh, my daughter was one at the time, and I was working at an employment law firm, and it was just overwhelming, a lot, you know, stressful coming home late at night and just not being able to really see my daughter. So she was one, mother daughter was three or four, right. or around that age. And I just put my two weeks notice in and I'm like, let's do this. Yeah, yeah. And so you jumped right in and yeah. there was probably, you were probably a little nervous, probably scared. Uh, yes, it's a lot of pressure, especially when you're dealing with legal stuff, legal matters, you know, family matters and yeah. Um, and so when you decided to start the business, mm -hmm. Um, how was it like building that up? And because now this becomes your moneymaker, this becomes how you provide or help provide for your daughters. Yeah. Um, how did you build that business up? How did you get people to come here and, and, and recognize that you could serve them? Um, well, I actually had to get a part-time job. So I oh. put myself into this. Yeah. Tell us all about that. Um, you know, I didn't even have this decal. I didn't have any signage. Um, and just little by little, the first thing I did was pay for this decal in the window. I'm like, okay, people are driving by, I can see it, hopefully you're walking by. Right. And then a couple months later, maybe almost a year later, I got the signage outside. Um, but I had to get a part-time job just because I wasn't really making anything. Right. And I, I think I underestimated that aspect of it. Okay. But over time, it's built up. And then with the Coachella Valley Women's Business Center, my second awesome. year, mm -hmm. I got the $10,000 grant. So that helped me stay in here longer. And then last year, I applied for a micro loan, and that's what's helped me. So little by little. Okay, so I want to really understand that because that's a huge resource. Yeah. So you decided to take the punch. Um, financial assistance from a couple of organizations. Yes. Tell us all about that in case somebody else is interested in that. So the Coachella Valley Women's Business Center has a program called It's Your Time. Mm -hmm. And they hold this two to three times a year. And thankfully, the year that I did it, there was also the California Dream Fund. Um, it was like a state initiative sure. because of COVID. You know, they oh, wanted right. to okay. help on entrepreneurs. So um, the Coachella Valley Women's Business Center uh, helped us with a business plan mm -hmm. and when you submitted that you would qualify uh, for this ten thousand dollar grant wow. so that's how i received that and then i was able to pay for things that's actually that's when i bought these chairs i love these chairs, <laughs> you love these chairs. <laughs> and then um that was back in 2022 and then last year i knew i wanted to have my ribbon cutting but i needed 
you know, more capital. Sure, sure. So I reached out to the SBDC, um, mm-hmm. the Small Business, Business Development Center. Yes. Yes. And um, I started also looking at the SBA website and they directed me in the right place. And I was able to find, um, I think they're nonprofits that help you, you know, get these loans. Awesome. That's very good information because it is tough to keep the doors open when you, mm-hmm. you know. So now here we are in 2024. Mm-hmm. How has business been for you? It's been growing. Yeah. Uh, I work less. So I used to work more part time. Mm-hmm. Now I'm on call. So that's how I know it's like getting better. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. And yeah, I couldn't be any ha- happier. Yeah. Yeah. So um, a big reason for you to take this leap was because you you are a mom, mm-hmm. you know, and, and uh, obviously you have to balance that out. So now that you're here in this place, do you feel like you're more able to manage that? It's more balanced and you feel more satisfied? Yes, I do. It's funny. It's a double-edged sword. Yes, I do. I have more time with my daughters, actually. Sometimes I pick up my daughter and she comes here and mm-hmm. she's here with me, uh, uh, the one in first grade. Um, but sometimes it's also the opposite where I come in on Saturdays because mm-hmm. I need to do the documents. I need to you know, prepare those documents. And But honestly, I just love that I have my own schedule and I sure. get to choose. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure they love that too. Yes, <laughs> they do. So now I get to attend like the award ceremonies or sure all their little things that yes. they're going to start to go through in school yeah. and everything. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's wow. wonderful. And how old are they? Four and six. Four and six, that's what <laughs> Yeah. So um, one thing that we've noticed, you know, like with all the women that we were talking to mm-hmm. is there's always that like moment where you, you know, you want to do different and be different and have different and you, you go forward. Right. Yeah. Um, was there a moment when you thought, well, no, I can't do that or no, it's, it's not the right time or anything that kind of gave you that doubt or did you always know this is, this is my path? Um, I felt like it was back and forth mm-hmm. over the years because the seed was planted back in 2017 mm-hmm. after I had my first daughter and you know I became a notary public and then I registered as a legal document assistant but then when I got pregnant with my second daughter I kind of like stopped mm-hmm. so it was kind of, it's kind of like back and forth I guess yeah. it's not consistently linear sure well I guess um many women experience that yeah right because you get pregnant and now you have some other priorities yeah to you know, um, but you came back to it. Yes, you came back yes. to it. Now here we are, and um, your business is growing, and you have your another speaking engagement tomorrow. Yes, with whom? It's with the Coachella Valley Women's Business Center. I think it's for the Inland Entrepreneurship Development. I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm uh, sure it's close enough. Yeah, something like that. Um, so it's tomorrow. A little interview. Nice, nice. Yeah. Because you're doing quite well after working with them, right? <laughs> Yes, um, that business plan really helped me. I mean, they didn't request it for the micro loan. I guess for micro loans, you don't really need it, yeah. but it felt good. I think that's what gave me the confidence to actually apply to, to get capital for my business sure. because I had that business plan and I felt confident in what I had to offer. Right, because I think people, um, when they think about starting a business, like generally it's like, well, I want, I'm going to create my own schedule. I'm going to be my own boss. I'm going to mm-hmm. do these on, these things. But you don't really always think about the financial part or yeah. writing that down and creating a package so that people will support you financially. Yeah. So that's an amazing tool. Yes. Um, and that you're saying that was voluntary t- to get the bigger loan uh, to do the business plan. Voluntary. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you didn't have to do it for the smaller loan. The, Oh, right. So the loan that I applied for, the micro loan, micro loan. Uh, yes. <laughs> they didn't request it, mm-hmm. which I was a little okay. bummed because I'm like, you know, I worked really hard on this. I want to show you this. Yeah. Um, but they said, you know, like if I had asked for, I think it was like 50K or something, uh-huh. they would have required Request. it. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it is required. And maybe it depends on the financial institution too. Sure. But sure. the one that I did, um, they didn't request yeah. it. Yeah. But that's still a great tool. Oh, to yes. Done that. It that's helped me. Deal. Yes, it helped me narrow down, you know, in the beginning, I would accept every call, every client, anyone that walked in, and now I've become very specialized. And okay. I, yeah. So. Oh, interesting. So tell me a little bit more about that. So in the beginning, you know, I was an, also an immigration consultant, um, so I would help with, you know, uh, immigration paperwork, mm-hmm. but I kind of let that go, and just other little minor things, like I said, Anyone that walked in, I say yes to. And now mm-hmm. it's like, no, it's either family law or estate planning 
or if I need to notarize or do the thing, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, and is that because you're more passionate about those things? Um, yes, I, I, I feel so. You know, I come from a family. My parents divorced when I was a baby, mm -hmm. and I feel like I have a unique perspective. I mean, I know it's pretty common now, but this was back in the 80s. Right. And um, I don't know. I feel like I empathize more. I'm very compassionate, sure. and I try to make it as easy and make it feel like a safe place here. Yeah. Um, I've heard, and I'm probably I'm paraphrasing, so I, I won't say it correctly, but um, you're you're the best person to help people who were you before, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. you can focus because you have a, a an, an, like you said, an empathy for that, and mm -hmm. you know what it's like their journey. So yeah, that's like a real way for you to give back and help people that were in your situation. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So how do people find you if they need your services? So I have my website, americasLDS.com. I have my social media. My handle is America's LDS. I have a business line, my cell phone. <laughs> um, I'm located here in Palm Desert. Yeah, no, give us the address. So it's 73616 Highway 111 in Palm Desert. It's between San Luis Rey and San Pablo. There you go. And our, like the landmarks, I always tell people, oh, by Minutemen or Min uh, my office is a little hidden back. I'm sure mm -hmm. you guys probably walked in that yeah, way. Yeah. Um, but I try to have there's some good signage that once we figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah the A-frame there. So. Okay, last question. Um, for anybody who's considering doing what you did, like mm -hmm. taking that leap, maybe they have the financial back, maybe they don't, whatever they're considering, what would be your piece of advice or encouragement to them? Um just to believe in yourself. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I had my little breakdowns, <laughs> even course. in here, you know, I, one time I had a, a mini breakdown and, you know, I had a client come in for a notary uh, service, but you just keep going and honestly, yeah. and it, it obviously helps if you have a supportive person, even if it's just one person, yeah. like my husband, he's the reason why I just kept doing it. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, because he like, he encouraged me and he would remind me of what I was capable of. Right. Right, and sometimes we all need that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, thank you so much, America. Great services here. Um, if you need them, definitely reach out. You'll know where to find her, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>